Hey everybody, how are you? It's Christy with RebsFabStash.com. Today I'm sharing with you the burrito pillow that I created using fabric from the SOAR collection by Melanie Samra and Deborah Edwards for Northcott. Join me and make one of your own. I'm laying out my fabrics. I already have them cut. I have the panel and my two and a half inch strip, which will be my flange, and then my nine inch strip, which will be my cuff. As you can see here, the panel came off of the bolt a little bit crooked. The threads are straight, but the print itself is crooked. So I'm going to cut it straight so that the threads are straight and cut off the selvage here. I'm going to leave less than a quarter of an inch of the white and cut off the selvage on the panel. Now, just so you know, the pattern calls for a 21 inch piece of fabric for the main part of the pillow. And most quilting panels are anywhere from 23 to 24 inches wide. So using a panel for this pattern won't change the effect of the pillow really at all. And then come back and cut the selvage off of my two and a half inch strip and my nine and a half inch strip. I did make two versions where I alternated the light and the dark with the cuff and the flange. So you will be able to see that at the end of the video. Okay, so next we are going to go over to the ironing board and iron out the creases in my fabric. Then I will be taking my two and a half inch strip and resting it wrong sides together. And I say resting because fabric has a tendency to stretch a little bit, so I am not pulling it anywhere, but just pressing it straight down so my strip ends up straight at the end. See, my ends are lining up nice and square here. Next, I am going to lay my pressed two and a half inch strip and then my nine inch strip on the top, right side down, all the raw edges together, and I will pin all three layers together, thinking about where I want to start sewing. Next, I will take it over to the sewing machine and sew my first seam. This is going to be a quarter of an inch seam. You can either use a quarter inch foot or you can measure exactly where a quarter inch would be. I always backstitch at the beginning and the end, especially where there is going to be a high amount of stress on the fabric. My width of fabric was a little bit different, so I'm going to trim this up so they're all squared up. It's not going to change the pattern or the outcome really at all, but will make the cuff and the finished product line up well. Now that I have all of my pieces sewn together, I am going to flip the panel over so it is facing down and roll the fabric in on itself until I see the cuff. Now you see why they call it the burrito pillowcase. I will pin the raw edges together so that the fabric doesn't move. I hate it when the fabric moves because then I have to pull out my seam ripper and nobody likes that. And then I will go sew. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end because in our next step we will be pulling the tube of fabric right side out. Now that I have my burrito, I am going to turn it inside out by gently pulling on the panel. After turning it, we go over and press it. I'm going to start by finger pressing it a little bit to get that seam nice and open. I'm putting my pin right in the middle of the cuff and the flange so that the seams line up nicely on both sides of the pillow. You'll notice I have the wrong sides together because I've decided to do a French seam to get a nice finished look. So the first time I made this pillow, I sewed a quarter inch seam and then flipped it inside out and sewed another quarter inch seam and I had strings hanging out the finished pillow. I wasn't happy with that. So when I did this one, I still did my quarter inch seam and then trimmed it down to an eighth of an inch. Now for the last little bit here, I'm going to flip the pillow inside out, press my corners out so I have nice sharp edges, press the seams, and this is my final quarter inch back stitch at the corner for the extra stress on the pillow. Turn it right side out. Okay. 
and my grandmother would press it again, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and press this again and get a nice finished pillowcase with French seams and a beautiful bird flying over the mountains. Now you have a finished pillowcase. You can find kits for the solar panel pillowcase at rebsfabstash.com in the links below this video. Thanks so much for sewing with me. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Bye!